Uh, my dad wasn't so <laughs> happy about it. And he's like, what is he doing now? And mama, you need to stop teaching him these things. And she just said, Jim, he needs to learn something. And so that's the way it was with, with me. It was kind of like, it's okay for him to be in the backyard and playing, but do he need a flea collar? So that's the way I was raised that my brothers and sisters could play ball and hopscotch and stuff. I couldn't play that stuff. It didn't do nothing for me. And so I got beat up a lot because I couldn't play ball and shoot basketball and shoot marbles and all that kind of stuff. I couldn't handle that. I couldn't go to school. I cried every day I went to school because it was a nightmare to me. But if you put me in the woods and gave me some nails and an old hammer and an old knife and some tin, I could build something. So my brother was kind of like my hero. Uh, one day in school, it was kind of funny. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny the day they did it to me. The teachers asked all the kids, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And everybody was holding up their hands, saying what they wanted to be. When she got to me, she asked me, and I was you know, a little scared to tell her. She said, what do you want to be? A fireman, a lawyer, a doctor? I said, no, I want to <laughs> study classical music and be a ballet dancer. That was not a good day for me. And the kids were standing outside the door and they grabbed hold to me and they scrubbed me on the ground real hard. So my brother pulled them off and said, you leave him alone, he ain't did nothing. And so that day I wanted to just go off somewhere and just kill myself. He said, let me take you fishing first. And we went fishing that day and we got there and he showed me where to go fishing at and he made a fire and he said, go ahead and go to fish. And I said, you're not going to fish? He said, no, I'm going to sit here and watch you. And I went to checking these great big fish out of the pond, the little creek that we was at. And he would, fast as I would catch them, he would take them and clean them and then stick a stick up their mouth, lean them over the fire and was cooking them. I forgot about killing myself that day. So that rolled off many ways. As I growed up, I couldn't stay home with my dad because he didn't understand me. So I left home at 14 and went and lived in the street. And I learned how to be a mechanic, I learned how to be an electrician, a plumber, I learned how to build a house. Uh, it wasn't too much I couldn't do. Anytime I went on a job, I didn't go there just to work there, I went there to learn the job. So I learned many skills of how to make it in our society even without reading. I had to go on jobs and people didn't even know I couldn't read. And I was like a manager of a warehouse because all of it was in numbers. I can do good numbers. It don't bother me to do numbers. And so that's the way I was running the warehouse.